Good evening, everybody. Get ready to reopen Indianapolis or at least get one step closer. Today, Marion County leaders announced a bunch of COVID changes they're recommending next week for the City County Council to vote on. So tonight, let's start our big story with a breakdown of what's on the way. As long as the City County Council agrees come Tuesday, fully vaccinated Hoosiers are not going to have to mask up in Marion County. But keep in mind, businesses and venues can keep their own mask mandate in place. Capacity changes also on the way. Community pools, for example, will open fully. Indoor sports venues like Lucas Oil Stadium, Baker's Life Fieldhouse can open up to 50% capacity. The goal is to lift all restrictions by July 4th. But right now, a really big concern for families are the guidelines that were just announced for summer camps. Lauren Costick continues our team coverage tonight with what you need to know. Summer camps are filling up fast. Well, we are maxed out of most of our camps uh, this summer. We have a few spaces available. Jamison Camp on the city's west side started welcoming back kids on Wednesday. Everybody's doing so well following all the mask guidelines, the COVID guidelines, those pieces. For its day camps, organizers cut capacity to 50%. That's a max of 80 kids separated into groups of 10. Masks are also required for all campers and staff. Our kids are in very small groups with the same staff every single day. It takes more staff, so there's financially um, some things that we had to work through to make sure that we could have more staff, more cleaning products, more cleaning time built into the schedule. And here are the latest recommendations from Marion County health leaders. Starting June 7th, camps can operate at 75% capacity. Campers and staff should continue wearing masks and social distancing. Everyone should stay in their assigned groups and meals should be eaten outside when possible. Something Jenny Brody is already doing by packing meals to go rather than eating in the dining room. Really recreate what we're doing. We're still serving awesome meals. We're just doing it in a different way and making sure that it is safer for our kids. Small changes that are keeping camp fun and also safe. Didn't know how much we missed this, um, but it, we haven't seen this for a year and a half and uh, it's lovely, it's lovely. Now that the COVID vaccine is available for kids 12 and up, there's an added layer of protection for older campers. So far here in our state, take a look. You can see 14% of kids who are 12 to 15 already have their first dose. You can see not very many at all are fully vaccinated. That's just because today was basically the first day this age group could get their second shot. So we're going to see that number grow. Now let's slide things over to 16 to 19 year olds. You can see a different picture here. About 29% of this age group has their first dose and roughly 23% are fully vaccinated. And now the Marion County Health Department is teaming up with schools for a series of youth vaccine clinics to try and grow these numbers even more. They're considered among the most vaccine hesitant. It's not bad, right? But the teenagers we talked to in this room could not be more excited to roll up their sleeves. I feel like uh, I've been wanting to do this for a long time. A vaccine clinic specifically for our school age Hoosiers, 12 to 17. I just want to help everything die down. So getting this, I feel like I will help out a lot. Relax that arm for me, make it limp, perfect. Sophia McDonald is right on the edge of eligibility. The decision for her came down to social life. I have friends that I'm not allowed to hang out with because it's not safe because they have family members that are their grandparents and they want to keep them safe as well. So, you know, I felt like it was like the right thing to do if I want to hang out with them. Health officials say just getting moderate compliance in these ages will go a long way in determining what next school year looks like. I think it really increases our chances of having a normal uh, fall school without no mass, okay, and no social distancing. Charlie Mannon came. I think I'm helping out. His mother is a teacher and is ready for normalcy. I'm looking forward to fall when we can get rid of these little plexiglass dividers and maybe kids aren't wearing masks. I'm really hoping, but yeah, I really do feel very confident that that's where we're going to be. Hopefully so. If you missed today's youth vaccine clinic, there are two others you can stop by. The next one is at Arsenal Tech on the 12th. The last clinic is the 19th. That one's going to be at Warren Central. Remember, this is for kids 12 to 17, but parents, you still need to come along to give your consent. We have all the registration details on our website and the app, and that wraps up tonight's big story.